I'm going to do a video that uh, teaches you how to use the neck brace, uh, putting it on, putting it off, as well as uh, changing out the pads. First thing you need to know is that on each neck brace, it is made up of two firm parts. You have the back, which looks like this, and then you have the front that has that circle dial uh, and yellow dot in the front. And the way that you know which one is towards the top is, and which one's towards the bottom is the pointed part goes towards the bottom, okay? And so when you look at this, the more pointed part goes towards the bottom. We're gonna start with the back part of the brace. One thing you need to recognize is that on each brace, there's Velcro. Okay, this, the back one has four Velcro spots. And the Velcro will only stick to one side of the padding, like that. Now the Velcro, or the, the, the firm part, takes, or has this uh, strap, that what we're gonna do is we're going to pull out the strap, okay? just on one slit, not both. And we're gonna do that to both sides. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, so you should have nothing in this part here and nothing in this part here, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pad, the one that looks like this, and you're going to take it so the pointed part, see this pointed, is down, and this is down. And you're gonna take this column and you're gonna line it up with that column on the firm part of the brace, like this. You're then going to take the strap and pull it through, go over top, that column on the on the pad and then you're going to put it through the slit and pull it tight see then this pad on the back is on is, is on so all I've got to do then is just pull it off of the uh, off of the velcro and then I can push it so that it's nice and firm and flat on that back part of the brace. Now let's move on to the front part of the brace. On the inside at the bottom, you have this uh, circle dial and on the pad, you have a little notch that's in a semicircle. What I do is I take that and I put the little dial right in that notch and then I take the top part here and I put it on that far right or top uh, Velcro. So right here, I'm gonna do it the same on this side. I take it, put it right on that Velcro. And then I'm gonna come back down here and get it back connected and just work it to where everything all the, the Velcro pieces, the ones that are right next to the little dial, and then these top outside pieces are covered. And the big thing I want to be paying attention to is there enough padding right here so that when that pushes down, these plastic pieces are not gonna be touching the skin. They're gonna be, the padding is gonna be there to help protect that, okay? You want to make sure that you still have three Velcro pieces. So we're going to take the last pad and I pinch it right in the middle. Okay, right in the middle. And I take it and I put it right on that middle Velcro. And then I take one side and I fit it into that little notch there and then I take the other side fit it into 
that little groove, that little notch. And now I have the padding on. Here, the part that matters is that there's enough overlap that if the person puts their chin down, it's not going to look like this. See how it's like that? Oftentimes I see that. You want it to be so that there's enough padding on the outside to help protect that chin so we don't get any issues there. So that's what it looks like. Now that we have the padding on each brace, now I wanna show you how I like to put it on. So remember, the pointed part, that goes down towards the ground. See the same thing here, down towards the ground. So when I strap these two together, I want the pointed parts to be down towards the ground. What I do is I take one side and there's a little notch in this part. So right there. And I lay it so that it, the hard part of the brace is barely touching the other hard part of the brace. And then I take one strap and I just lay it down, okay? Then you can put this on in the front, take the back part around, reach back, and then strap it on. Now, if you look, that's now overlapping a little bit more. So I'm gonna take this side and make it so that it matches, okay? And so now as I push down with my chin, see how I'm not gonna to touch the plastic part? And then this part, as I put my weight on it, it's not going to put that plastic part into my chest. Now there is one piece that you need to be aware of with this, and that is that you can raise the chin piece to give more support or less support. So when you pull out that little dial that has the yellow, the little yellow circle on it, pull it out and you rotate it, you turn it. So this way made it so I have a lot more room. And then if I turn it the other way, see what that does? Now I don't have as much room. So it makes it so that I have much more support right here and, and holds my, my head up a little bit more. Thank you.